So we've taken a close look at the DJI Phantom 2 quadcopter. We've enabled and tested the advanced controls, balanced the propellers, and then installed the anti-interference board within the Phantom itself. The next step is to move on to the unit that will hold the GoPro camera and provide stabilized cinematic footage. Welcome to IFTIS Tech Corner where today we'll be installing and taking a closer look at the DJI Zenmuse H3 3D Gimbal. Ideal for a range of applications from film and TV to cinematography and designed for the GoPro Hero 3 and Hero 3 Plus, the H3 3D Gimbal inherits the core algorithms of the Zenmuse Professional Series and is powered by advanced algorithms higher precision sensors and brushless motors. This provides pixel level stabilization, meaning with the GoPro, the Phantom 2 can be used as a professional filming tool that will in most cases outperform systems that are three times more expensive. Let's take a closer look. Within the package we have an accessory box containing an anti-interference board complete with an 8-pin extension cable and 3M sticky pads. Three sets of rubber dampers, all varying in firmness, some plastic anti drop clips, two bags of screws, a bracket for securing the GoPro onto the gimbal, a USB plug with a spare ribbon cable for connecting into the side of the GoPro itself, and a small quick start guide. Finally, we have the top bracket for the gimbal along with a set of white dampers pre installed, and the actual gimbal itself. A rather comprehensive package in all. The DJI Zenmuse H3 3D is DJI's most advanced GoPro gimbal ever. By incorporating three brushless motors, we have a unit which is very efficient, very quiet, and much more powerful than an ordinary motor. With a little help from a gyroscope, the gimbal will react at lightning speed to compensate your drone's movement, resulting in perfectly stable video footage. This H3 3D is a three axis gimbal. It has a pan, tilt, and roll axis, which isolate any outside movement and always keep the GoPro leveled and pointing at one direction. In addition, rubber dampers between the drone and the gimbal itself absorb any rogue vibrations, helping with stable video even further. Although metal in construction, the motors feel very free indeed without any power flowing through them and incredibly smooth. Notice the omission of the proprietary GoPro interface connector though. Instead, we have a very delicate ribbon cable which uses attached to the included USB connector. It's a fiddly procedure, but we'll see how it holds up as we progress. It's a good idea to install the anti-interference board alongside the gimbal, and if you haven't done so already, I'll leave links at the end of this video and in the description below on how to safely install the board inside the craft itself which also involves feeding the gimbal cable through an alternative hole in the belly of the craft. If your board isn't installed, you will find your gimbal cable coming out of an alternate hole in the landing gear, although the installation of the gimbal itself is the same nonetheless. Before we begin mounting the gimbal to the craft, it's a good idea to prepare the gimbal itself by removing the securing tape to free the side ribbon cable, and attaching the USB adapter. Next, place the GoPro camera into its cradle, which is held in place with the retaining bracket, and secured into place using two M2.5 screws. Remove the GoPro side door, and ensure a micro SD card is inserted, before plugging in the USB adapter. This charges the GoPro and provides a video out feed for an FPV setup, which we'll be taking a look at in a future video. Notice how users will need to remove and reinsert the delicate ribbon cable every time access to the memory card is required. Not the most user-friendly solution and a downside to an otherwise high quality setup. Moving on to mounting the gimbal to the craft, the first step involves dropping a securing pin through two of the rubber dampers in the upper plate so that they appear diagonal to each other. And then attaching the plate to the Phantom itself using the four supplied screws. The next step involves attaching the gimbal itself to the upper plate by inserting the lip of each rubber damper through the bottom plate. With the gimbal now in place, the next step would normally involve inserting the securing washers into the securing pins inserted earlier. 
Note that once these washers are inserted, they are not removable. Nevertheless, notice how the pan movement of the gimbal is limited with one of the rear securing pins in place. Not the most ideal design. The securing pins simply ensure the gimbal does not fall off of the craft should it come loose from the rubber dampers. Nevertheless, I suggest placing both pins at the front end only. They'll do exactly the same job without limiting the pan movement. With the hardware now installed, we can attach the gimbal cable to the rear of the gimbal itself. Installation complete. It's a good idea to update firmware before using the gimbal. To do this, users will need to use the DJI Assistant software, which we've used in part two of this series to enable advanced controls. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you've missed it. Attach the Phantom's USB cable to the craft and to your computer. Before powering the Phantom up, always ensure a GoPro camera is within the gimbal itself. The gimbal is obviously designed to work with the weight of the GoPro in place, so never switch the Phantom's power on without a GoPro present. With the controller switched on, we can power up the Phantom and proceed to let the DJI Assistant apply its firmware updates. Although the software also allows users to tweak gimbal settings, it's a good idea to leave these for the moment until you've had a few flights to test the gimbal in its default form. As it stands, the craft is ready to produce stabilized, professional grade footage. In practice, bearing in mind this is the gimbal straight out of the box with no further calibration or tweaking whatsoever, the Zenmuse H3 3D performs fantastically well. The level of precision in maintaining a stabilized image is astounding. Coupled with the absolute ease involved in flying the craft itself, it makes for a very powerful package for those looking at aerial videography solutions. The advanced algorithms, high precision sensors and brushless motors all work in perfect harmony, completing hundreds of calculations every second, meaning the DJI Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal provides pixel level stabilization by making the smallest of adjustments in order to maintain a completely stable GoPro. It's certainly a very, very impressive piece of kit. The DJI Zen Muse is a fantastic overall package, a high quality construction that bolts onto the bottom of your Phantom 2 craft with minimal fuss, and it performs very well indeed, producing perfectly stabilized footage. My only main complaint with the entire unit is the awful USB design. Having to remove and reinsert a very delicate cable every time you need to access the memory card, which will likely be quite often, is a complete pain. It requires a very delicate hand in order to avoid damage, and it's certainly an area for improvement. As it stands though, the performance is second to none, and those looking for professional level aerial videography at a low price point need look no further.